Hello and welcome back to NorCal 715. So several years ago I did a video on repairing a, I believe it was an Insignia uh, power supply board that you see in front of me. But those are also used in uh, Element, Hisense, Dynex, and uh, I'm sure other models as well. And uh, this customer contacted me and asked if he could send me the board for testing. And in my video, it was a defective uh, capacitor here that was bad. That was from, I believe, 2012. So it's been a couple years ago. Hard for me to remember. Anyhow, the customer had this uh, set with the exact same problem and he replaced this capacitor and it cured the problem for several years, but now he's having a different problem. So he just asked, hey, can I send you my board? You test it. So I thought I would make this quick little video and go over testing it just to see if the board is functional. So what I'm gonna do is first off test the five volt standby power supply because that is the only thing that should be working right now. So I have uh, power ground connected here, live and neutral. And so what I'm gonna do, I've got it plugged into a variac so it's completely isolated. It's not connected to earth in any fashion. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on. Now I'm gonna carefully go between uh, these pins. I don't know if you can see it, probably not. The uh, capacitor is right in the way. The first two pins are labeled ground, these two right here. And the third pin is labeled standby and that turns the relay on that starts the main unit. But the fourth and the fifth pins are labeled five volt S for five volt standby. So I'm gonna go from the first pin to the fourth pin and I have 4.7 volt. And so that is enough to run the microprocessor in the TV to keep it active so that it can do its job. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run a jumper through a resistor just to be safe from the, so I'm gonna put a resistor between five volts and standby. I'll probably just use uh, like a 470 ohm resistor and so now, after I add that resistor, when I plug the board in to 120 volts AC, I should get a relay click. And then I should have all my voltages present here. I should have my 12 volt present and my 5 volt M, as well as over here my 24 volt power supply should be present as well. So we're gonna test all those and we'll put some loads on those just to verify that this board is indeed functional. Let my customer know. So just as a note, this is the standby power supply right here, and this is the run power supply. So they take the 120 volts, I'm sure it goes through a little bit of filtering over here, and they send it through this bridge rectifier right here into this power supply controller I see. It's a switch mode power supply, and across this little tiny switch mode transformer. They filter it, they might do some regulation. I'm sure there's a feedback. There's an opto isolator right here, so it does do some feedback. And then they send that over here to the five volt standby. So when the set is off, that's the only thing on this board that's running. Nothing else is doing anything. None of this is happening. When you hit the power button, that five volt S, the microprocessor tells the standby line to go high, which energizes the contact relay, which in turn starts the rest of the power supply into action and you get your five volts, your 12 volts, and your 24 volts over here, very hard to see, but the 24 volts right there to run the LCD backlights. Okay, so I'm gonna add a resistor to this real quick. I've got a resistor right here. I actually found a 1K resistor, 1000 ohm resistor, so I'm gonna tin those leads to make sure they take solder very well. There we go. So next I'm just going to tack the resistor on here very gently. There's one. There's the other one. Hopefully you can see that on the camera. So now I've got a 1000 ohm resistor between pins 3 and 4. This is a rubber pad so it's uh, insulative. It's not conductive. I've actually tested these with the uh, Maker at up to 1000 volts. And it was all good. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn the power supply on and you should get a click. So let's go ahead and test the voltages again. I move the board over a little bit here and put my voltmeter right there so you can read it. So we'll go from ground. Next we'll test the five volt standby again and see what we got there. 4.7 still, let's test the 12 volt now. Not good. That is a problem. We should be getting 12 volts here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got nothing. What about five volt M down here on the end? I've got nothing. Well, I can tell my customer that it definitely is the power supply that's creating these problems. So here's something strange that I noticed. So I was measuring these voltages off camera. Let's go back to volts. I'm gonna put it in 60 and I'm gonna put it on min-max. I won't have a min-max display, but it will record the minimum and maximum. So I'm gonna to go to pin six right here. And I'm gonna switch on my Variac. And we got 9.4 volts as the maximum that time. 11.48 that time. So something is putting this power supply into the protect mode. There's the 24 volt power supply, 25.85 volts. It's perfectly fine. Let's get out of min max. Yeah, it went up to 25 volts, so that's all good. Let's continue checking down here. 5 volt M. Yep, I saw it go to 5.1. Let's go back to max. No, it didn't see anything that time. It must still be in fold back. Five point two six volts that time, so that's good. So something is definitely going on with this thing. It's going into shutdown. I wonder if it just doesn't like being unloaded. So let's put a load on it. Let's just figure. Uh, sometimes I actually put specs on these boards. There it is right here. Let's try to get as close to these specs as we can. There it is. Output, five volts standby, one amp. 12 volts, two amps. 16 volts, one amp, I don't even see a 16. And 24 volts at eight amps. Wow, that's uh, quite a bit of current. I don't know if I can come up with that or not. But let's try to get the, uh, let's try to get 12 volts at two amps. And let's try to get 5 volt uh, standby at 1 amp and the 5 volt M at 3 amps. I'll search around and see if I can find a bunch of resistors and see what we can come up with. Okay, so I don't have any suitable resistors, but what I do have is a bunch of these automotive bulbs. And they're dual filament automotive bulbs for brake light and turn signals. And so what I've done is I've taken one of them, I've hooked it up to the power supply, and I've determined that the small filament is 12 volts at 500 milliamps. And the large filament at five volts draws about one amp, and at 12 volts draws about two and a half amps. And so what I need to do is come up with, well, according to the board, 24 volts, uh, eight amps. Well, I'm sorry, it's gonna have to be 24 volts at two and a half plus 500 milliamps, so about three amps. So I'm gonna series two of these bulbs for the 24 volt power supply. And then I'm gonna hook one of them up to the five volt one amp and five volt three amp, and we'll fire this thing up and see what kind of results we get. So I was concerned that this power supply would not be able to start with the inrush current required of these incandescent lamps. And so I'm on a five volt standby right now, and you can see it's pulsing. Put on min max. It's gone up to about 0.8 volts. Not enough to start the standby power supply. It's going into fold back. So I have a power supply set up here. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. There it started. Standby, five volts is 4.8. Five volt M is 5.2. And the 12 volt is 11.9. The 24 volt is 24.6. So you can see these lights are lit brightly. Everything is good. So I think I can say without a shadow of a doubt that this customer's power supply is in good shape. So he must be having another problem with his TV. So that's all I can give you right now. With your help, we can keep these things out of the landfill and out of the recycle bin. If this video has helped you, please consider making a donation on my YouTube homepage with the PayPal donate button at paypal.com.
dot me slash norcal715. Everybody have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.